Welcome to the Ladies' Lounge, the podcast bringing you life hacks, weekly laughs and funny stories. I'm Tracy, And I'm Bernadette. And it's time to get ready to have some fun. Let's laugh, learn and be entertained by the two of us today. Hit follow and let's get started. Hello, good and morning. Good morning. Welcome guys to the Ladies' Lounge. We're back. We're here. We're in the lounge. Mm-hmm. We're relaxing. It is a Monday morning. The cup of tea is ready. The cup Thank of tea you for is that. Piping hot. It is. And we are ready for a great discussion today. Mm-hmm. What are we going to start off with today, Tracy? Well, I think I might start with what happened to me this morning. We might as well get that over and done with. Okay. What happened? There's always the drama. Come on. Let's bring content to our chat. So <laughs> my days start nice and calm, and then I get audio streaming going, You're not going to believe what happened. Mm-hmm. And this is like, you're not going to believe. But yeah. they're still doing it today. No I won't say where I went, but to a very large supermarket this morning. Mm. And you go to the deli section. Mm. I normally go to a, a, an Italian little store that would have beautiful, fresh, cold meats. But this place was okay for today. Yeah. I asked for the usual mm. prosciutto, ham, salami, yeah. cheese. Um, twiggy sticks. Yeah. The what? What? What is twiggy oh, sticks? Like, what is like it? Like little crap. Yes, yeah, sticks of crap. There's no meat in there. No. Probably I could eat them now, even it, though I'm vegetarian. Yeah, there, there's no meat. Okay, I don't even get that. But anyway, mm. um, back of the days where you used to lick your finger and grab things. We've been through a pandemic, Tracy. Mm-hmm. Why are people mm-hmm. still doing this? And I'm very vocal, <laughs> but for some reason today, I keep looking at you, but I should be looking here. For some reason today, I was more in shock. So mm-hmm. I said, can I grab 200 grams of prosciutto? Licked her finger and grabbed the bag. I just got Yeah, put the cold meat in the bag. I was with my son and we both sort of looked going, oh, and then she's gone and licked her finger again to grab, you know, the paper to wrap it in at the end. Okay. She did the first time Mm. and both me and my son looked at each other and I was like, it's fine. She did it again for each, each Mm. order. I'm totally not hungry anymore. That's saying something. (laughs) Diet starts Monday and today it (laughs) starts. And today it started with a bang successfully. And so I've we've gone and done a few other bits. We go to the pay and he, my son says, Mum, we, we, I'm not, we're not eating that. No. Let's just not buy it. And no. I felt bad. Yeah. I bought it. <laughs> As we're going through, I was like, you know what? I am just going to go and just say a little something yeah. to the customer oh, service desk. You have to. How do you say that? Like, how would you have, would you have stopped and just stopped the order? What would you have done? Do not ask me because I am so cold and so blunt that mm. I just, things come out wrong and mm. then, and then I, it's too late. I've already said, yeah. So would you have stopped her or not ordered any more? What would you, what would you have done? I don't know. I just would have to see how I feel at the time. Mm. But I, yeah, my whole body is telling me right now mm-hmm. I would have stopped. Mm-hmm. should have. And I kept going. I idiot. And because they were making the, they were in the back doing the, fr- you could see them making, cutting it fresh. Yeah. I was like, well, it's freshly cut. It's only the outside of the bag. Anyway, oh, I've gone to the customer service and said, look, I'm not one to complain, but I am. <laughs> <laughs> and I should have stopped her straight away, but I didn't have the heart. Monday morning, we've all, you know, had a, you know, it was Mother's Day. Hard, yeah. She probably was hard over it. End. Yep. And she just, she was like, you're joking. And I was like, no. She said, right. Give me all of those cold meats. I'm going to Is that go. the manager? That was, oh, I don't even know if she that. was the manager. She said, give me everything you've got. I'm going to redo it for you. Oh, I waited 20 minutes. So I know it was fresh. Like, well, I don't think she was just standing. <laughs> and came back and fully apologised multiple times. Gave me back my money. Plus gave me a little thank you for saying something. It was a uh, Mother's Day teacup for one. Stickers okay. and stuff. For Mother's Day, I don't even know what else it was, but they went out of their way to redo it for me, which she should have. Yeah, didn't have to give me the money back because I still got away with the product. And then a little little token. That is really so. Nice. Did you feel bad now? Or... No, no, because I still would have thrown out. I'm sorry, but if you're working in food, Oof. hygiene is an absolute must. And even let's just take ourselves out of the equation mm-hmm. and potential customers, mm-hmm. even herself, like. She, We've been through a pandemic. Absolutely. You can't be licking fingers and putting fingers in mouth. Yuck. No. Yuck. Sorry. Yuck. So that was my start 
to the so tape. So what have you done with the prosciutto now? It is home in the fridge now because I'm Take saying it out of that wrapper. I haven't. <laughs> we may de- be definitely toasting it to, in case there's any. Just uh, in case. My God. So have you had a moment where you should have complained but didn't? No, I've never had a moment. No, I'm that girl that goes to the hairdresser and if – you know, they don't do it right or they, really? you know, or if they're looking at cutting 10 centimetres when I only ask for two, I will go crazy. I will flip tables. I will be like, no, that's not what I want. Whereas, see, my beautiful cousin, she's the girl that will sit there and go, that's exactly what I want. Oh, same. I feel I'm one to And she'll comment. go home and cry. Yeah. You know, like. Yes. Do you start off by going, I'm sorry, it's not what I'm after. Do you apologise? No, I'll go, see, I told you not to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I can't help. I've got this inbuilt directness. That's good though. That I have, I've tried to spend all my life trying to soften, mm. soften myself mm. all the time. Mm. And it's really hard. <laughs> it's a cross I have to bear. So you're eating dinner. Mm-hmm. And it's not to your standards. And the waitress comes and says, "Oh no, I tonight. don't no. say anything. No, no, because no. I've been with someone mm-hmm. who used to, mm-hmm. and I always felt so bad for anyone in hospitality mm-hmm. could not do that. Plus, they didn't make the meal, you know. Unless, of course, I asked for, can I have chili on the side, or and it never came. Okay, or something like that. That's okay, then, you know." Where I have no issue of complaining when it's food. Wow, so we're complaining. Yes. Only because. So we know where your priorities are. (laughs) But today I felt, I feel now bad in myself that I didn't actually say something Mm. and I felt bad to say something yet. I was only going to be going home and throwing them out. (laughs) Yeah. No, that's okay. All right. That's all right. Well, that's good. At least we've we've learned that. We've learned that. So let's start. Mother's Day was yesterday. Oh, yes. Let's talk about Mother's Day. How was yeah, your day? It was beautiful. I got mm-hmm. to spend it with my daughters mm-hmm. and my mum. Mm-hmm. You know, it's the same old thing. I Well, for me, it's like if I don't organise, something for Mother's Day <laughs> won't happen. But that's okay. It's fine. I was happy both my daughters came and... One of my daughters brought me beautiful flat. Nice. And what did you end up having? So we went for high tea. Beautiful. beautiful. Is, yeah, look, the place was, oh, you know, like we sort of got there and there was, you know, it was half filled, so it wasn't that busy. Mm-hmm. You know, they just weren't rushing over to give me the first glass of champagne or, yep. you know, and then I was thinking, is this how it's going to be all day? I'm going to have to oh. ask for things. And, but anyway, they got better as the day went on. Good, good. I don't know that I would go back to the same place okay. next year. And you went there by a review, by just choice? No, it's Where actually you... a place I've always wanted to go. I've never okay. been, I always drive past. And then um, and it's been around for so, so many years. And, um, and also I did make a few phone calls and everything, even a month ago, was already booked, booked. out where I wanted to go. I didn't think Mother's Day was huge celebrate. Yeah. Like, I thought it was just a day. Yeah. Mm. No, well, it is. It's a okay. big deal. Okay. And it should okay. be. And it should be. <laughs> well, my what Mother's Day. Uh, when you've got kids in sport. There is no Mother's there Day. Is. At least I'm over. I used to hate going to the kids' soccer or football. Let's have at the end of the game a Mother's versus kids game. I'm sorry. I'm over that. I don't play that- sport. <sighs> I don't want to be on the field. I don't want to give myself a rolled ankle. Is that for the athletic mums? It is. And I'm not there. No. no. So yesterday morning it started off with us going to Mandra. Yeah. That was a, nice. an hour's drive <laughs> at 7.30 in the morning along with half of Perth. I don't know why it was so busy, but at least it was an okay drive. This is what Perth is like, yeah. you know. Yeah. They all do the same yep. things at the same yep. time. So we were there early. We won, thank goodness. <laughs> so it was, wasn't too bad driving home. And then off to my other son's soccer game, he drew. So I still call that a win. I uh-huh. uh, didn't get back home till 2 o'clock. Wow. And then we head, headed off to the cemetery oh. for Anthony's mum. Yeah. I keep knocking my nose on this one. <laughs> <laughs> and then I had the whole family over for dinner because I'm an idiot. Right, but you do this for everything. And it wasn't just dinner. It was lasagna, potato salad, fried rice, green salad, 
garlic bread or home. Where was my retirement? I know, I know. We've got leftovers. But oh. yeah, it was all, and I had my cup of tea and went to bed early last night. I was exhausted. I was ready it to was... go to bed after high tea. And I didn't even do anything. <laughs> Oh, can we just make mention of the beautiful mm. blinged mutt Please. in you, Kyle and you, Jackie O, here we go. You've gone out of your way. I love and it's not over the top. It's not a that's right. It's quite subtle, isn't it, Tracy? Yes. But you'll come back and all of my oh, I was just gonna done. say, is there something attachments going to be happening each week that we get add ons? Yeah, just do the arms next yeah. week. I mean And I'm liking that we're in black today. I can't and that believe it. Planned. I always wear pink I, on podcast shock. day. I'm always in shock. wear pink on a podcast day. But today I've got a rock star T-shirt. Remember I was talking about those bling T-shirts last time? Here we are. This is one of my sheen numbers <laughs> for about $7. My rock star. You can't go wrong. <laughs> you can't go I don't wrong. regret it. No, look at it. It's gorgeous. Now, speaking of fashion, did mm. you watch the Met Gala? I didn't. But you're going to. So you something. don't know any of the outfits? Any. No outfits. Nothing. The dress made of sand? What? No. 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 Know. No. No. This is oh it. don't am I, I mean I didn't watch the whole thing because it would bore me but I mean surely you've seen it on Instagram no okay. I've been a bit MIA Tracy's fashion orientated clearly <laughs> uh, look my standout so, yeah, outfit uh, okay of course the sand was amazing but I don't think they thought the sand dress through. Like in terms of will she be able to sit down? Will she be oh. able to walk up a flight of stairs? So she had about five men lifting her up like a little dolly right. to go up the stairs. Right. Then we had Demi Moore with the big florally flyy kind of, I think it was more floral. Really? With the wing. For oh. Demi? Yeah, it was amazing. Wow. And then we had Ariana Grande oh. with her little butterflies on the side. She yep. was She was cute. Yep. And then the men turned it up as well, like mm. Chris Hemsworth. Oh. oh, my God, he represented Australia, did us really? proud. Really? Like he was just in a beautiful sort of light-coloured. He was amazing. He he's looked hot. really good. He's hot. Yeah, he's, he looked really, mm. really great. Okay. Him and his, his wife, they had some great chemistry on the red carpet. Mm -hmm. And uh, then Carly Minogue, she was cute. Her okay. dress was really cute. But, yeah. But if you didn't watch I it, did agree. That's, that's a little tiny little recap for you. They're my favourites anyway. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so you were saying to me earlier you're not wearing any jewellery today. I've come out with nothing. Do you feel naked? I do. I know I do. I don't take mine off. I neither nothing do I. Nothing comes sleep off. Mine. Yet I shower, I sleep. I, I don't garden, so it's not that they get dirty. <laughs> but And hang on, sorry, do you ever get them cleaned? Yes. Oh, well, I mainly clean them while they're still on me because I can't take them off now. But I have taken them off a few times to get cleaned. And seriously, I nearly broke my knuckle. Yeah, no, once they're on, they're on. But <clears throat> my engagement ring is over 20, so it's 23 years old. Oh, wow. So it's never come off and my fingers have it's time grown to it, either grown it. it or get a new husband. <laughs> Which Anthony, one? are you listening? No pressure. Um, I would love to just have one ring. Yeah. That you don't have to worry about putting what? multiples on. Yeah, yeah, and I've got diamonds all over my wedding band. Did you ever get an eternity ring? Listen, you're going to hate me for this, but I like three rings. Mm -hmm. I've always mm -hmm. got three rings. Mm -hmm. No waiting. Who waits? If you said to your daughter, there's eternity ring, she wouldn't even know what it is. Like, okay. So I just like to call it. Two wedding bands. So you're saying you got okay? Yes, in my previous yeah right. relationship because I don't like an unbalanced look. I don't like one like two rings is not balanced. You need three. That Sorry, can nice. I ask on the day when he put the ring on? Did he put two on? No, probably not in the church. No, no, no okay, just the one. And okay, and at some stage you got the second. Just, no, I got mine a year later. But it's mm -hmm. the same as my wedding band. I don't know Beautiful. if that's supposed to be. Is that what an eternity? What is an eternity for? Well, I mean, yeah. I don't know. I mean, how many rings do we need? I know. I know. Well, I mean, think about it. We get an engagement ring. Mm -hmm. We get a wedding Hang ring. Hang on. We go back. What about a friendship, friendship ring? ring? Which now is a promise ring. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. So, I mean, you know what? Yeah. Let's say that's five rings and yeah. it's still not enough for me. It's not. So now, times just, have changed and yeah. it was a simple 
ring, which is fine. I have no problem with that. But I now want all the diamonds around. All the diamonds in one ring. In one ring. But do you, because then if you get that ring really thick, because mm-hmm. I used to work in jewellery, mm-hmm. and then it's thick under the finger, no. then you can't bend. bend. And if we want to keep it on, so we need to make sure this underneath is, is thin. Thinner. Yes. And then we've got all the all the glitz on, on top. top. <laughs> and my wedding band is engraved. So that got Anthony's name with our wedding day. Well, what are you going to do now? Well, I had to take it off or else it would have needed to be cut off. Anthony's not happy about that. Let's try and convince him. Cut that bit out and put it maybe in a little necklace or something. Mm. She's old, Um. but with a frown. (laughs) So she doesn't like a little Um, earring. Earring? A sleeper? Yeah. To a sleeper. One. To a (laughs) plank. A plain sleeper on one side. You know how people are wearing yeah, different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Okay, there's sleeper, options. And then just start the ring from fresh. I think that's where we're at. I no, think I we think just that's... need to start. So that's where we're at. No, I'm not sentimental, that. but Anthony just needs to understand. I'm not wearing rings at the moment. Mm. No, I am. I'm wearing my... Uh... So you're single. I'm but... single. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> Watch out, guys. No, I'm wearing my sheen. Yes. Sheen. Yeah. That's so yeah. good. So That ring looked really nice. Yeah. Right? So... It's something. Well, take if you need any um, help design. Okay, help. we're done. I used to I used to do that as well. So what haven't you done? Oh, I used to do everything. You know what, Tracy? When you get to this age, you know, thirty five, <laughs> you have got a lot of experience under your belt <laughs> and all this knowledge. Yeah, I know. I know. So you're a friend with benefits. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> FWB. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, we'll sit right. there. I'll draw it. We can design it, and you just take it straight into the jeweler, and he'll probably go, "What the hell is this? <laughs> hey, do they melt? Do they? Yeah. Re- what is it called? Re- like they melt? Yeah, they can, but some jewelers don't like to do it, mm. and some are fine doing it. And I think it all comes down to money. Like, of course, you know, some people want to start fresh, and yeah, yeah, who knows? Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see what yeah. happens. I don't know what's. It's, I need something. So. Well, in order to be able to afford this mm. new ring, mm. we're going to have to start saving some money. Mm. <laughs> Cost of living, saving money. Yes. What are you doing? We, got, you doing? Our, we got our power bill. Now, we've got four kids. I want to get onto this subject. Yeah, let's start. So mm-hmm. four kids who have no idea about what things cost, or they probably do and don't care. Don't. But my pet hate is turning on a light and walking out of the room. Yeah. Yeah. Turn it off. So you'll be back at some stage, maybe later tonight. You'll be back in that room. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but that to me is waste. A hundred percent. What about power, you know, like if you've got your phone, ch- like, plug in. Yeah. What do you call it? Phone charger. Yep. Turn it off from the main switch when you pull your phone out. Right. Do you not do that? No. Oh. I don't think anyone does that in this house. <laughs> But we have noticed a huge spike oh. in the electricity bill mm-hmm. here. Mm-hmm. Of course, Walter would like to point the finger at me. No. For that. No. However, I seem to be the only one turning lights off during the day, at night time before we go to bed, um, no, and various other times of the day. But, like, for example, last night, he walked into the kitchen the one time I was mopping the floors. Mm-hmm. And I was just in another room and he was like, oh, I'll just turn the light off uh-huh. in the kitchen, shall I? Hero, Walter. Please. <laughs> My God, if you want to get me from zero to 100, just Done. go for it. Right. Yeah. Right. I can't deal with that comment when you know I'm actually <laughs> mopping the floors and I might be back in and the kitchen and the laundry are not very far from each other. Mm. So I'm doing my best. So we're going to see if we can get the next power bill down. Yes. Um, being very mindful of turning everything off. I'm lazy when it comes to time management. Mm-hmm. So I've got my front loader washing machine mm-hmm. and on top is the dryer. Yeah. I could be doing up to four loads a day. Can I tell you, yeah. I go and bend down, grab the clothes out and straight into the dryer. Yeah. So yeah. I've not hung my clothes out. I'm going to say a good two years. I thought you were hanging them out no. of them. I thought that was our last call. So really? Now, 
Yeah, yeah. But now, so for the last month, yeah, I've not used my dryer. Yeah, right. Yeah, uh, and he bless his little heart has gone and printed off for our Western Power rate, yeah. whatever we're on. I don't know what the plan we're on. Yeah, are uh, the dollar value of times of the day. But he has good idea. You no, know, no, 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 because he's stuck it on the washing machine dryer, <laughs> on the fridge, uh-huh. and next to the TV. So we know when we're allowed to actually turn power on. So for our house, which I think we're on home plan one. Walter, hopefully you're not listening to this, or maybe you are. Yeah, look, you want to print off some. You want to print off some day <laughs> for me. If you are on the same plan, I can give you. <laughs> one of our sheets. <laughs> What's up me later? So our plan is uh, 9 p.m. at night uh-huh. till 7 a.m. Mm-hmm. is our most affordable Oh, time. so we've got to get up at night and do the washing. So this is when we're doing Are work. kidding No, me? no. This is when, when do we clock off? Yeah, I was just going to say, so when are we sleeping? I'm not on a shift at the moment. I'm out. That's so I'm going to sit on my bum all day during the day. Yeah, so from 9 p.m. till 7 a.m. for us, our plan is 15 cents. Right. From 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. is 30 cents. Wow. And then from 3 to 9 is 6 cents or something ridiculous. So, yeah, this is this is where we're at. So we're not allowed to have lights That's on. so interesting. Isn't oh my it? Oh, gosh. So air con for us was a big we always yeah. had the air con I think on. that's what killed us all and that's mm. the last bill we all had and that's what we're looking at is yeah. that bloody air con, the yeah. bloody Australian summer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we're living on, we won't put the dishwasher on until after nine. Yeah. I won't vacuum the house if I can till after nine. So I'm working all day to come home but and I, work. I just use my little Dyson so you can vacuum any time. <clears throat> yeah, you can. Thing. It is plugged into the wall. <laughs> but do you, one, you just need to do a little spot clean. I use the Dyson until the battery runs out, yes. which could be a 40-minute run. Yes, 100%. Yeah. So, yeah, so Ooh, basically that's... I'm a zombie now because I'm doing all of my things at night or early morning. That is great tips, though. Yeah. I mean, you could put a big load of washing on at night and maybe, yeah, but then it won't be ready by the morning and you've got to, got too many boys. I, I've been listening to you to do the timing, like to preset the time. Yeah. But it's still, I still do too many loads. Mm. So I'm getting up earlier to put one load in ready to hang on the line. Cost of living. Cost of living. Is it running so I'm us doing, into the so, ground? Yeah, I'm watching what my power, but what about home brand? Yeah, yeah, shopping. Yes. Look, I'm not opposed to home brand. I think we spoke about this last week. So mm-hmm. we spoke about the dishwashing liquid last mm-hmm. week. Mm-hmm. I said I've always bought it. Mm-hmm. It's fine. Mm-hmm. Things that you can't like Please. sugar. You know, if you were to buy sugar, why would you yeah. go and buy the same sugar that's more expensive? Exactly. Like I said, like even things like um, makeup. You know, I'm not opposed to going and like you know, I use the seven dollar mascara because it's my favorite. It's the best mascara in the world. Um, instead of going to, you know, go to um, get that Bang Bang Mascara by Benefit, mm-hmm. that's $40 or $50 the or same whatever result, it is. If yeah. not better with the cheaper. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I've always been very open to, mm-hmm. you know, the home brands. Mm-hmm. So, did we talk about baking paper last last week? Did we end up getting onto the baking paper? I can't remember. I can't remember Because we've either. spoken. Because I saw your stories and, um, you know, <laughs> you were trying to make – something on the baking paper and then it stuck yes and I didn't realize until I saw on TikTok that there is you know a wax side and a non-wax yep. side on I the didn't baking. know that I didn't know but cause... my boxes one says baking paper yeah and the other says uh, non-stick baking paper is it the same I think it would be the same because no you couldn't one bake sticks. with it well one sticks and one doesn't why would you want to buy a sticking one I just picked it up not realizing until I bought it home Going, hang on, I've bought one that doesn't say non-stick. Well, if but if anyone knows out there. Yeah, like, please. And, and if there is one side different, no. Yes. Or one feels like papery and one feels shiny and waxy. Yeah, and it's all for baking. I just don't remember ever having to check this before. No. And all of a sudden. No, it's, now uh, it's an actual drama. It. So, sorry, is there a right and a wrong side with our foil? 
Yeah, actually, they both, there's two sides. They look completely different and there probably is and I don't know about it. We need to research this for next week. Okay, let's because just push that on. Because honestly, that's, that's another. So sorry. interesting. Mm. I need to know. Mm. Okay. Did you have another issue to bring up here? Where am I at? <laughs> yes. Okay. So I did see somewhere on TikTok where someone was asked to be a bridesmaid, mm. but they had to supply everything or pay for everything themselves. Let's talk about when we mm. first got married. Okay. We're talking mm. 20 years ago. How many bridesmaids did you have? Four. Oh. So I was a 21-year-old bride. Wow. So I was young. Child bride. Child bride. <laughs> So I was young and my bridesmaids were all younger than me wow. and I was the first in my family to get married. Oh. So I didn't know the right or wrong. My girls bought every uh, I got everything for the girls except mm. their shoes. Mm -hmm. Because I thought I should, I think they said, "Oh, let's let's pay for the shoes at least." Yeah. One of my bridesmaids because she didn't like the shoe that I chose. And she said, if you've chosen it, you should be paying for it. Oh, anyway, back then. back then. Are you friends with her now? Family. So she paid for them. Anyway, yeah. I got what I wanted. It was my day. And I think that was $60 back then. So it was still yeah. affordable, but it wasn't. Gee, that is, that was pricey for back then. I was just going to say, yeah, it was actually. actually. Now you think that would about be it. 180 Probably double. Yeah, at least. Okay. Yeah. So no, they, they were. <laughs> they weren't cheap. They weren't cheap. But I got, so my bridesmaids were um, all different colours. Same oh, style. Nice. Different no. colours. But I paid for everything. Yeah. Katie Lamb. Gee, I love her. She <laughs> does some amazing. She <laughs> is so funny. And she had something similar where she was invited to a wedding yes, of Australia. I that. Yeah. Oh, so you want a wedding present as well. Where are we at today yeah. when it comes to weddings? Are we keeping to traditions mm -hmm. or, you know, where where are we at? What are your thoughts on? Yeah, it's so hard because, like, you know, we just previously spoke about cost of living. Mm -hmm. And, you know, back then you could buy, if you were generous, you could absolutely cover everything mm -hmm. for all the bridesmaids and then remember plus you'd buy them a gift to say thank you for being a bridesmaid yes well wow. yes so i mean now it is gonna be a little tricky unless mm -hmm. of course <clears throat> we order everything on timu <laughs> <laughs> which isn't a bad thing but, um it's really hard and, and it depends what bride you're going to be as well like if you're going to be that bride that goes I want this shade of purple and mm, this mm. and you've got to have this shoe if you're that kind of bride maybe you should be I don't know like covering some things mm. and then maybe they can buy their shoes and buy whatever shoe is comfortable to you yes. as long as it's a nude or something, something like that, that. Yeah, it's got to be I think these days we're gonna have to go Harvey's maybe I don't know because it is pretty hard. Like say the bride wants a certain label, you know, of dress that's like $600. I mean, there's no benefit being in the bridal party anymore, gonna, is there? No, you're it's only going to wear it more. Well, yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. It depends. It's a, it's a you know, situation by situation, mm. I think, sort of thing. I'm happy not to get the invites. Um, the because for as a guest, mm. what do you pay now per head? Like... You're not going to buy and a I, gift anymore. It's they want the back in the day. Yeah, us yeah. Italians were oh. like, I don't know, hundred dollars a head, cash in the car. Yep, you know, sort of thing. But it's buying a new outfit, but shoes, makeup. Even hair. when you go to a ball these days, oh. the ball tickets are like, let's say on average high two hundreds, three hundred dollars. Wow. See, um, yeah, and then you, you know, the girls are getting dresses, makeup, spray tans. Yep. It's like a yeah, thousand dollar night, and then are you going to stay at the hotel? That's God, it. forget about it. And then the cost of Ubering, like yeah. it all adds up. That's so, it. so yeah, traditions. I, I understand, like you know, when they want to kind of, you know, now these days brides might want you to pay for certain mm. things. Mm. But, um, I don't know. Maybe there should be like a, a cap? I would like you to be my bridesmaid, um, if you accept, kind of thing, but. Mm don't feel obliged but then there's I the hen party yeah. you know that's an ex as well it's a per head thing that never used to be mine wasn't i don't even think i charged when we went i don't even i, I just think did you even have one yeah i did but it was we just honestly just a bunch of us girls went out for mexican and drinks and perfect there was one of those mechanicals and oh, i yeah. did that yeah yeah had a crazy yeah. night like that but it was nothing 
it was just like going out for dinner, dinner. with the girls and I think everyone just loved paid it. their own way. Yeah, yeah, how beautiful that Maybe I paid for it. I really don't know. But dinners were cheap back then. Yes. I remember going out for either Mexican and Chinese and all that back in the day. And honestly, you could, I because I've had a birthday party every single year mm-hmm. since I was 20, mm-hmm. bar the last couple of years because mm-hmm. I'm over it now. But, and I would pay for everyone's dinner every year as a 21 year old and onwards literally I was taking 10 15 people out for dinner Mm. and it was like two hundred dollars does it become enjoyable that is how cheap it was back then yeah two hundred dollars for everyone yeah and it was a great feed. and it was a great feed byo yeah now you can you go out two people for two hundred dollars how much are drinks these days it's just crazy you know you can't even go at twenty dollars doesn't get you much so me and Walter went out for dinner at Junction Grill oh, in yeah. Crown yeah. Um, the night we went to Elvis the Musical and um, he got an Aperol Spritz. I thought, no, I'm going to go with a white wine because I know exactly what they're like with cocktails these days and 20 something dollars for an Aperol Spritz. His came in the same wine glass mine did, not a big wine glass. Full of ice? One of those. No, not really. One of those short wine glasses and it was three quarters full with a bit of ice in it and that was an Aperol Spritz. Wow. You know, usually they come in the yes. big ones. And he was like, wow. And I said, yep, that's why I got a glass of white wine because I got much better value. Yes, yeah, And mine see? was $12 and his was 22 Far out. Uh, no, I do feel for the young kids today. Mm. Going out, you you know, you can't even have more than a couple of drinks. No. We can't. That's why they do praise. Well, that's it. It's that's terrible. exactly right. It's so, terrible. We're coming through to halfway through the year. <laughs> Has the year gone? <laughs> Crazy. Did you have any New Year's resolutions? Uh, yeah. Well, I didn't make any, but I did want to lose weight, but instead oh. I've put on weight, which is great. Okay. Well, weights, <laughs> you've, you've achieved something, haven't you? Because there's weight. so you... I'm foot bulk on, yep. which is good. Yep. Yeah. Yep. What about you? I always have the weight that never happens and I really should stop my swearing. But that's a nice outlet, I think. Words don't come out if they're just without being swear words. Mm, I mean, like I if you were just to say, oh, that, that car driver's a bad driver, it doesn't give the effect of oh, you, words. Yeah, mm. I know. And mm. that's what I mean. It's a release. We work hard during the day. Oh, we need I don't to. need someone to piss me off. No, <laughs> we need to get out the anger. No, like that's why we have our our audios. That's why we have our audios. This is why we have a podcast. Yes, that's why we're so happy you're along for the journey because yes. we know we just sometimes we start talking. We go, no, don't say any more. Save it for the podcast. Exactly. I want it to be fresh. Yes. <laughs> yeah. No, I think we all in in our hearts say yes. Let's do some sort of resolution. Yeah. Who keeps to it? No. Unless you're making them that aren't realistic. I mean, look, I did become a vegetarian on Australia Day Mm -hmm. and I – I'm going to say kind of stick to it because I veered off into mm-hmm. becoming a pescatarian because I did want to try have more protein and I was getting a bit sick of beans. So I am pescatarian. Don't see myself going back to red meat. So look, I kind of had a New Year's mm. resolution and I'm still here. So, and I'm, and you're really not missing happy. it? No, I'm not missing it. No, it's funny, isn't it? So I, I guess you could, at all. It's... and I wish I could give up sugar. Oh. And alcohol as easily as I've given up. Are we doing dry July? Actually, do you know what? I think we should. Should we? I think let's do it. Dry July. Dry I July. Because... Who's joining us along the journey? Yes, yes. Let's do it. I would love that. Okay. Because I've been going hell for leather and it, <laughs> there needs to be a break. Seriously. Like I'm not going to drink this week. I've had enough. Okay. It's all about the tea now for me. Okay. And... No, I'm done. I'm okay. done with alcohol. Okay. I'm over it. It's just at the end of the day. It's a habit. Like you think, oh, get a glass of wine, sit on the couch. Mm. No, where's that going to get you? Well, doesn't it just ease the day? Yeah, I know. But you know what? You see how most a lot of people are getting the walking pads now, like a treadmill without the top on it. It's just a walking pad. Like under your desk. No, oh. <laughs> imagine just sitting here and our legs what are just in. No, like you literally – like walk on it. It's like a treadmill. Yeah. Exactly. And you yeah. stand on it. Yeah. And you just walk. So like a lot of people are saying that like you should even have a standing desk. Yeah, like, that's what I mean, under your yeah. desk. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Standing <laughs> desk and then have your walking pad and just do your work, 
I know. And I know what you're thinking. We do enough work. I can't think of adding that. I sit at a desk all day. Uh, so what am I going to be doing? I know. You're going to have to make that desk upright. Upright. And bring your walking pad. <laughs> but what happens if you need to speak to someone and you're walking? Yeah. You're puffed out. No, you're going to have to turn you're it right turn... down. Yeah. No, so that's not going to happen for me. Oh, I'm going to look into it. Let's I see if Timu we... does any. <laughs> Where's Timu to sponsor me? <laughs> look, look, anything's possible, isn't it? So... No, I actually bad. just keep going. <laughs> No, it's been lovely chatting. It has, as always. Look, are you going to come back and join us again? Join us? Are you going to come back again in a fortnight? You know I am. Yes. I Good. am here. We don't want to leave everyone hanging and you don't no. want to leave me hanging either. It may even be next week. Oh, that I would mean, be great. how good would that be? Because we've got to get some regularity, some consistency back up for the ladies' lounge. Mm. So, minimum, you, I'm not letting you off. No, minimum we're fortnight. fortnightly. If not, we might just sneak And a weekly is a bonus. Weekly. Look at that. That could be the added bonus. <laughs> That's so cool. So lovely chatting again. Thanks, Tracy. You take care. And take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you all for listening to the Ladies' Lounge podcast. We hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you liked what you heard, please take a moment to leave us a five-star rating and review. Your feedback helps us grow and improve the show. Don't forget to share this episode with your friends, family and anyone else you think might enjoy it. Until Until next next time, time, this is Bernadette and this is Tracy signing signing off. Have Have a wonderful wonderful rest of your day. day.